Hi, this is Daniel Scribner here with a quick preview of the next episode of our Outlier Investor Series, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I'm joined by Steve Vassallo, general partner at Foundation Capital and author of The Way to Design. In tomorrow's episode, we explore what it's like to reinvent a venture capital firm. Foundation Capital was founded in 1995, 27 years ago, by Bill Elmore, Catherine Gold, and Jim Anderson. One of Foundation's early claims to fame was that it was one of the first investors in Netflix. If you've read the book The Power Law, which is an incredible historical overview of venture capital by Sebastian Malaby, you'll know that Silicon Valley is littered with venture capital firms whose fates have risen and fallen over the years. Very few venture firms survive a single decade, let alone multiple decades, and those that do survive have to reinvent themselves time and time again, which is exactly why I wanted to interview Steve Vassallo. Over the last 15 years, he's helped reinvent foundation capital, turning around lagging performance, investing in entirely new types of businesses and companies, and in the process, he's helped usher in a new era at Foundation Capital. In that episode, we cover Steve's early years bringing design, product, and engineering together at IDEO, and what that taught him about building successful products and companies. The early warning signs he saw that made it clear Foundation Capital needed to be reinvented. How Foundation Capital rediscovered who they were and who they wanted to be as a team, how they changed the way they operated and made investment decisions, giving partners more latitude to invest in the ideas they thought could be massive companies in the years to come, how they began making crypto investments, which led to massive wins in Solana and Brave by making small bets and winning over LP support as the wins added up, and Steve shares how he thinks about making investment decisions, why he thinks you have to balance a prepared mind with an open mind, and his advice for anyone interested in becoming a venture capitalist. This is an incredible conversation you won't want to miss. Here's one of my favorite moments from it. Tune in tomorrow to listen to the full episode. My advice to folks who are still early in their career, um, early enough to take risk, um, is to is to go build something, is to get a real job, to join uh, a rocket ship or to build something from scratch. I think there is sort of, I used to talk about this as the efficient frontier for your career and kind of anything in between is, is, a, is a hard spot to be in. But, but the return on experience of building your own company is invaluable and the return on experience and in, in many ways, the return on uh, kind of your, you know, kind of financial investment in your time in joining a rocket ship company is also quite good. So I, I think, you know, my advice oftentimes is get a real job, learn how to sell, learn how to scale yourself and your team, uh, learn how to lay off a fifth of your team when, you know, hard times hit, but but do it with respect and then figure out how to build back up from there. And I think in so many ways, this is informed by my experience of, of you know, building products and teams, which is like, until you've built something and broken it or helped manage it through some really scary times, which even the best companies go through, you know, at least a handful of those really scary white knuckle moments, until you've done those things, you don't understand it. And so I think the way we help our founders more than anything is we have, uh, we have a, a, a deep sense of, uh, of empathy for what they are going through and we can help them uh, through their, their hardest challenges. And I think that they trust us because we have done that ourselves on the other side of the table in most cases. And so I think that um, that's probably my advice to folks um, who are thinking about a job and venture is, uh, is, you know, maybe let it, let it happen to you instead of seek it out explicitly. <laughs>